My name is Horace Brockington. I'm an art historian and a curator from New York. Um, I come to Art Basel for two reasons. Um, one is, well, first of all, if anyone knows that I'm actually a contemporary curator, so not just with black artists, but I travel extensively. And one of the things I find it's interesting about this version of Basel versus the one in, in Zurich or Fries, all of which I go to, um, is that this seems to have Despite its sort of okay. attempt to be more okay. global, what, what it's the chance to see a lot more of the more recent oh, artists the in the Miami area. So I spend less time at Art Basel and more time sort of running around to Rebels and, and to oh, the um, too bad. Yeah. Margarlis yeah. collection. And I think what's different for me about this fair as well yeah. is the idea that there's an opportunity for people to do so many different types of projects. Because so if you're in you London, you're somewhat you know, dependent oh, yeah, on yeah. getting around. Um, here you can just sort of move very easily and there, it's interesting over the course of years how many more fairs have popped up. Yeah, yeah, and, oh, yeah, what about the presence of uh, artists of color particularly? Uh, it's interesting because I think it's a back and forth. Um, what I've found in um, some cases is, for example, um, there are years when uh, you saw people such as Jay-Z and Beyonce running around collecting from Warhols and various others. Um, in, and I think what I also find interesting, and I sort of do that, I mean it's sort of a bad thing to say, but I do walk around and see if Micheline is at Lehman, what Jack, Jack Shaman has. I mean I sort of know what some of the, especially in the New York and European galleries, who they show, Vienka's at, you know, at Stephen Freeman. So I'm sort of conscious of that and I do count that. And I think it's interesting because it's been, because younger black artists have been on the cusp of so, you know, the yeah, last maybe 10 years because of Dahlman and various other um, curators like Franklin, who also I understand is doing something here. Uh, it has sort of created a dynamic um, for collectors who may not be aware of them, uh, even though we know there's a huge bunch of collectors of champion, uh, you know, Kara and various others. So it's going to be interesting this year because I think with Peter Norton sort of deaccessioning a lot of his work, I don't know what type of message that will send to collectors about buying black artists because a lot of the pieces that we show we show in the New York show um, auction at Christie's were the, were people he was sort of buying then. So as I said, you see what happens with me. I walk around, I do know a lot of the dealers. I'll ask them how who, who they're selling, how they're selling. You know, it's always interesting to find a surprise, for example, like one year a David Hammond sold for one point three million dollars and um, I don't think David even knew it was in the show, so when I got back and sort of yeah, yeah. talked to one of his collectors and said, oh, yeah, Salon 94 had it, it was pretty, 